V S C V S C V S C Good morning and welcome to the most dangerous show of the week. Virtual shopping channel. All right. Mm -hmm. I had to remember which hairdo I had on. <laughs> this is not a thing. <laughs> okay. I have I have two ones today. And yesterday I had three ish. The fourth one was the same, so I did a little pony rat tail, whatever. Um, <laughs> but when I have this is my squirreling moment. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> when I have four, I lock the top of my mask between one and two and the bottom between two and three. And when I have two, this is all new. I'm still experimenting. When I have two, one's just on the top and one's on the second. And I can take it off easier. When it's between one and two, the little ones, it's like, or I have to untie it. Okay. Momentary squirreling. Not necessarily the only squirreling. But the momentary is wrong. Okay. Blurry is. Huh? Blurry. I, I'm sorry, I'm getting caught by the. I'm about to introduce myself, but I'm doing this and going, camera's We're, not right. No, I don't know why. I think the whole thing got shifted that no. way. So, oh. I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in sunny and. Warming up again. For, for winter mild, Brevard, North Carolina. I'm going to let this person introduce herself while I go fix this. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. I, I'm not Damn, wearing Liz. a hat. I'm Damn. not wearing a hat today because yesterday with a hat and my moccasins, I got warm. Let me know. And until when? about two o'clock in the afternoon, that, and good? that should be better. <laughs> and I like that, like the the lift at the end of that because maybe it's not. So, was that enough? No. There we go. <laughs> Problem fixed. And there's more distance between us, which is probably safer because we've had what 200 cases in the last seven days. Um, well, yesterday we're, was we're up to another another hundred. Yeah. Small county cases going. Woo! Okay, moving on. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the sun's out, which means the plaza might be warm for a little bit. So. It, it it gets warm until about two o'clock in the afternoon, when all the sun has gone off the plaza and the wind starts to blow. And then it gets cold again. So And then people go, but but can't I come in? And we said, Did you make an appointment? It's really easy to make an appointment if you're local and want to come in the shop. It's very, very easy. And then we can plan ahead and give you a wonderful shopping experience in our shop that looks like a bomb went off of yarn. I tell people all the time. Bomb, yarn, mm -hmm. boom, everywhere. Cardboard boxes everywhere. Yeah. This and they're the like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, the other in. views of the shop are pretty. If you like mountains of yarn in cardboard boxes, amongst the pretty shelves. We, we've we warehoused it. Yes. Like, we are a warehouse right now, filling online orders and helping people when they come to the door. Doing the best we can, given the times we're in. Okay. So we try and make at least the background. Well, this, yeah, this is easy to maintain, kind of. Um, it's all the stuff that way and that way. <laughs> oh, a little that way. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we were all like, okay, what are we going to do today? Because, um, okay, not everything is online, but a lot of stuff is online, especially our pretties and our specials. Um, like part of doing this is the impetus for me is to get more products in the online shop since it's a new Thing. I mean, it's almost coming on a year now, but it still feels new because time has no meaning anymore. It's still um, March. It's last still March. <laughs> Not the March coming up, last March. Um, and what we're down to, we're down to some of the basics that we have so many colors of, it's going to take me a while to get them up online. So I might have to prep for that and we can release like SK220 is on. Yay! Um, we're not there yet. So, um, but a lot of our fun yarns and some of our cost-effective yarns are already up. So um, it it takes so much time. Like we had a I had a a regular customer from olden days come in that we know really well, and she came in for pick up a bag and she was like, "So what's a normal day?" And I'm like, "Normally, 
I'm doing all the running and Rebecca is sitting at the computer getting stuff in the system, getting orders put in, getting, you know, telling me notes on stuff. And she goes, computer all day. And I went, yeah, because it's just, that's the part that I can't do or won't do or shouldn't do. Well, it's a whole combo. (laughs) If you wanted to, I'd figure out a way. But there's there's multiple. It it's would just be easier. frustrating for both of us if <laughs> I did it. Anyway, um, for multiple reasons. Yeah. But you know. uh, and she's very good with customers, and yes, it, it, it and stickering, takes... and and all the other things. And, and even with her on the computer all day here, it's still more. That I it needs. There's to be still. Done. I mean, we experienced this yesterday with someone buying yarn that was that we put up back in the beginning and trying to facilitate putting yarn up. I was using pictures from the yarn companies, from their websites, which the resolution doesn't always work on our platform. And to be quite honest, I love all of our yarn companies, but the pictures on their websites more often than not are not reflective of the true colors and true natures of the yarn. And if they were like you, you talked last night during the night, they might have been for dye lot one or from the original yeah. like vision of the yarn but this is several runs later and it doesn't look like the pictures yeah. that are up there um so i i still had need to go back and fix all of that i want to replace i started doing my own labels my own everything but there's yarns that we have up that i haven't done that for and i need to go back and do that on which means i either choose to do that or i put up new yarn and it's like yeah both are important which one do i choose yeah. and i think this week um, I'm going to choose going back and trying to fix the ones that that are not our best representation of what we have in the shop. They're up. They're live. It's great. But there's issues. So um, we, before we went on break, I made a vow not to order anything so it wouldn't come while we were on break. And then we came back and last week I started ordering stuff. Because we were, y'all have been awesome. But it means we're running out of yarn. Even though you see all this stuff, there's, there's, there's stuff we need. And so that has started coming in. So we thought this was a wonderful opportunity to show you some new colors. Because some of of the existing old colors are either so back ordered that we can't get them back in right away. And people are like, Hey, yeah. And then there's new colors. And then there's new colors. There's new to us colors or new in general colors. We're going to keep rolling that out as we can. Um, since we, we it's COVID and we're not having yarn reps into the shop, we're stumbling across some of this. As I go to reorder, I go, ooh, look, new colors. Ooh, and um, either brand new to the company or let's try a new color because this has been back ordered for five months. Um, and there's lots. We got in some last week. What I'm mentioning right, right now in this few sentences is not what's on sale this week, but something you should check out. There's a new color of Fair Isle. Maybe if we have time, we can show that up tomorrow. There's a new color of Cairns. Fair Isle is a self-patterning worsted weight yarn. Yay. Um, Cairns is a cotton acrylic blend that we use for the market square bags and other fun things. Um, What else was there in in that batch? There was new colors of, I'm blanking on it. I put it in the newsletter though. If I remember, I'll show it to you. But um, the ones we're most excited that are the most recent arrivals and will we'll prompt the whole line of this yarn to be on sale until next Wednesday, 15% off once I get them into the products of the week category in the online shop with the code product of the week with spaces. Check it out, that category online, it'll tell you the instructions. Um, two of the yarns that we got some fun new colors in on are going to be 15% off from today until next Wednesday. And they are Barocco Cocoa and, oh, I should probably get the samples of cocoa, and um, Noro Ito. We've been talking about Noro Ito quite a bit on and off on like midnights and things like that. So, um, and then we got new crochet hooks in. Well, we've had them. We just new got new colors. colors. Oh, well, new colors, singular. Singular, singular. But, you know, they, they sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yay, since we have the samples of Ito out, we're going to start with Ito. Yay. And that's what I'm knitting 
Right. right. Okay. Let me, let me, okay. So this was my lovely, we'll talk about this another day too, because we, I wanted to make so many kits yesterday for, for, for the Kentia, um, which actually would look lovely in an Ito um, or figuring out some blend of Itos um, for the Kentia cowl for other things for new night shifts. And we were too busy yesterday to even do that. So, uh, but let me take this off because Ito comes in a Jimungus. 200 skein, up oh, 200 skein, 200 gram oh, coffee. Mm. Um, 200 gram cake, giant cake. It's 400 meters, 437 yards. Mm -hmm. It's the, the same amount of yarn is in 100 gram socks or soccer fingering weight, most of them. And and look, it's, I mean, it's just, it's worsted weight yarn. E, uh, Noro, it's 100% wool. Noro is known for their lovely colors. Ito takes the Curion, if people are familiar with Curion, which, I mean, it was new two or three years ago. And, and now it's becoming, these big giant cakes are becoming more commonplace, but this was one of the first ones Nora put out. To take the small 50 gram skeins with a few colors and expand that to a giant skein with lots of color repeats. Look at Some that. of them have up to 20 different colors in them. There, it's gorgeous. This is, this is um, one of the first patterns released for Ito. It's super simple and easy. It's a giant triangle cow. And it is, a, you, you knit a giant rectangle with ribbing. It's, they call it seed stitch ribbing where the pearls would be for a knit three pearl three. There's some seed stitch involved, which is just a little more texture, a lot of fun. You make a giant rectangle. So like here's one end. And if we follow it around, it ends with the, the short side sewn to the side to one of the long sides. Sounds weird, really easy. And it makes a big, lovely triangle cow. Throw it on and go, right? And it's not actually super bulky. If anything, this has a tighter neck opening than this does. But I'll wear this to show off the yarn. This is color number 10, which on our system says Aurora. They started with English names and then they went to Japanese names because this is a Japanese yarn. And I, I only added the Japanese names when the English names weren't available. I could switch them all over. But I know this one is Aurora, <laughs> number 10. So <coughs> um, we went to reorder some of, some of our lovely, pretty, most popular ones. And like color number one is backward. We can't get it. So we got some new pretties. We got some new pretties. And ooh, before we start showing them all off, well, one that we ran out of because it's so luscious that was new to us a few months ago. It's color 24. This is color 24. Look at that. This is what's left of the ball that I'm working on um, with the Pioneer braid scarf that I've been showing off in my morning meditations. I mean, look, so this is like a medium level uh, of color. This is dark and broody. And it's got these lovely dark fuchsia colors in it and brighter colors and ooh, pioneer okay. braid scarf. Anything that kind of takes advantage of the color shifts. This is a wonderful, easy, free pattern, pioneer braid scarf that takes advantage of it. And I should have a super long scarf if I use this entire skein. So. And until recently, color number 15, uh, Masumoto was our lightest. So you have the medium, the dark and broody and the, the and that one has this lovely purple. Let me show you before we start showing off the yarns. I'll put it in front of my face. It's a single ply, mm -hmm. which means it's one loose twist instead of having multiple twists spiraling around each other. Um, that has pluses and minuses. It's uh, Noro tends to have a little bit of variance in the thickness. So it's almost, it's considered a thin thick. It's not like floof and thin and floof and thin. Um, but you will find spots where it's a lot thinner. It tends to be classified by weight by its thicker parts. So the chunkier parts of this are considered worsted weight. I think I might be done. I'm probably Wait. not, but go ahead. <laughs> so, so this one was our lightest one. Except, well, Walter, I guess, fits into that. Walter's kind of dark and broody. Walter's right. kind of neutrally dark and broody. Did we not yeah. bring him over? He we is brought... right in front of you. Oh, so he's hiding behind all this cocoa. Well, Walter is named after one of our knitter's husbands because that's his colors. And it's and... also her colors, actually, but yeah. we call it Walter. So this was our, um, Noro doesn't have a whole lot of what we would consider neutral, like very few. 
The bocce, which is a thicker version of this yarn, is what I made my COVID cardigan out of, the Carbeth cardigan. I call it my COVID cardigan. And it was all like, like creams and browns. And it was like, wow, I mean, beautiful, but not what Nora's known for. They're known for all these lovely colors. This, when we first brought it in, was our most neutral. It's got the creams and browns. It also has a little bit of reds in it. And some greens. Some greens. It's like, it's, it's luscious. It's wonderful. But it was the most neutral we had. And then um, one of, this isn't the newest batch of color, but this is a second round batch of colors we got in just like a month or so ago, I want to say. Yeah. Well, maybe not even. Maybe, maybe well, it was before Christmas, but that feels really recent right now. So it's still March. Walter is color number 12, also known as Radiance on our website. We have not renamed it Walter on our website, but what is that one? Uh, this one is Sendai. It's color 22. And it, it, it has English names and from browns. the very beginning, Japanese names. And yeah, it's more neutral, but there are pops of orange in there. The, the, the orange, is, which is really close to a brown, is as, is as much color as you're going to find yep. in that guy, whereas you've got some, some muted shades of color in Radiance, what we call Walter. So right. ooh, can, we, can we show? Let's show the old ones. Yeah. Let's lead so up. we've already we we don't done have the dark and I don't think we got all of them right. No, we just pulled out some favorites. This some one was favorites. one of the brights. We only have that one left. This is number twenty. A shout out to Jessica. She was just weaving with this. This is one of the brightest ones we have in like some lovely fall tones. We can't reorder it right now. It's back ordered. Tw number twenty is called what? Um. Ush Ush Ushiki. Ushiki. U Usuki. 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 Sorry. I'm going to totally butcher all these words. That's color number two. Three. Three. It's Rhapsody. Oh, that's right. Two is the one you made your gnome hat out of. Yes. Three is Rhapsody. It is the cover photo for this shawl was originally made in number three. That is our brightest rainbow. Number three. This one is 21. 21. That's one of our newer ones from like a year or so ago. Yeah. Really bright blues in it. Really, really pretty. Really, yeah, really pretty. And the camera does not do them mm -hmm. justice. It is Ms. Mitsuki. Mitsuki. Mitsuke. And we, we already talked about this one. This one's so pretty. You've made a felted bag out of I've this. I've made a felted bag and the light lavenders my and greens. Oh, is... you're, oh, so, and this one is very thistly, which is why, uh, uh, and, you know, um, Masumoto, we might have yeah. already mentioned that. Um, oh, while we're in the middle of all this, I don't think we mentioned price or anything. Yeah. I cut you off from reading yeah, your labels. Yeah. I'm sorry, because I was just rambling there, about they, it. We've already mentioned like everything on the labels. Except yeah. for like needle I mean, gauge just, and... just to review, like, so this is $45 regular price, 15% um, off this week. Needles, uh, when they list stuff on a Noro label, there's all kinds of different things. But where I focus in on is the US 7 to 8, which is a 4.5 to 5 millimeter. It does gorgeous. On a 10, 10 and a half. That's what I do my papillons out of too. This so. is my pioneer braid scarf in a full skein. Look at the dark and broody. Oh, I mean, you've is. got you've got vivid like bluey teals mm -hmm. and purples and a little bit of some light tans and things in it. It's just so pretty. Um, okay, so so drum roll on the new colors. So this I think I'm not sure which of these we got first or second is that we got in by itself. This was from a back order for me hoping to get it in. And then these two came yesterday. So these two look pretty similar. But they're you, not. But they're not. This one has yellows and neon green. That, that's that got like a full, well, they all have a full rainbow in some way. But yeah, this one's got some neon greens in it. It's got some light pinks, like, like pastel, almost pinks, like on the, because there's light pinks in that, but they're warmer. Yeah. This has some cool pinks in it. Um, this, I mean, look at that. You've got like a light rainbow in there almost. This, this takes your hot pinks into a dark and broody and that takes your hot pinks into a bang. Yeah. This is like, this is much more fuchsia, magenta, all those kinds of things. There's, there's not, um, a vibrant green in that there's green, but not vibrant. Yeah. So this one is number 32. Look at that. Look at that rainbow right there. Oh my gosh. This is Kamisu. And I'm probably putting the syllable accents in the wrong places. 
What's that one? That Takakawa, one's... it's 31. 31. So this one is, again, 32, 31. They're one number apart color-wise, but there's definitely a different thing going on okay. in them. Then we got pastels. Or pastel as pastel as... And see, as... there's a fuzzy spot. There will yeah. be fuzzy spots in, in Noro. And I always caution people with the 100% the wool. There's other 100% wools we have in the shop that are loosely spun enough that if you yank really hard on them, they will break. But the good thing, of, but you can still totally knit with these and be fine. You can spit join them. A little bit of water on both ends, friction, felt it together, keep going. Um, I, I, I have to talk for, about this for just another minute because it's the one that's right in front of the camera down yeah. there. Um, you said it's 23 Kure. I wanna say this is not a new color, but it's new to us because we have not had a Noro that has pastels in it. I just, I think it's awesome. I mean, but the, then there's, then there's this like burnt sienna in it. it so just, it's not just yeah. pastels. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. That is just so pretty to me. And I'm not necessarily a pastel fan, but we want to have a range of dark and broody to pastels, to neutrals for you all here in the shop. So, um, so that's just fantastic. Yay. Um, Coco. Let's move on to Coco, which means I should have a wardrobe change. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I have to um, figure out where the Coco cowl is, though. Well, while you do that, I'll read stats. That's what I was going to suggest. Okay. And this is one of, oh, that's not one of our new colors. No, I, well, I pulled one of the old colors because the new color doesn't have the price tag, and I figured I should read that. Yeah, well, you know. So uh, Coco is 77 yards for 100 grams. Super bulky. Super bulky. It's enough to make a hat, depending on the hat. It's enough <laughs> to make a cowl, depending on the cowl. Plan accordingly. Um, it, the gauge they're calling for is on a 15 needle. Um, I think I've used it all the way down to a 10 for some of my hats, but Look, variations on a theme. They have all been triangle cowls today. Yes. Um, and for crochet, they're recommending a P hook. Did you mention that it's super wash wool? I was getting there. It's a hundred percent super wash Merino. Merino. I forgot it was Merino. Hey, yeah. Cool. There, it says it's machine washable. They're still recommending placing it in a garment bag and uh, machine washing separately in full it's, delicate cycle lay flat to dry. It's it's a single ply, but it's got a, a well, technically not a single ply because you have this little bit of nylon cording wrapping to, around it. I think it's give merino it cording because there it's hundred percent is no other Never mind. So it's got a little piece of merino wrapped around a big chunk of merino. Yes. My best guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Regular price twenty one ninety five, mm -hmm. and look, it's variegated goodness. It's so yummy. It's kind of stripy. And sorry, you were you said and you oh, were say something on our tags. We don't have the name, so no. But online we do. Um, and here, let me look it up online while we're going. But um, this color in this hat, we are. Is tundra. <laughs> I thought it was the one we're out of stock on. We can't get one of them in. It's back ordered. So there's one that's called Park that we won't be able to supply you with today because um, we have tried to reorder it because we're out of it and we can't. It's back ordered. This one's called, um, this one does have, some of them oh. do have names on them because we got them in after we named them for online shopping. Before that, we just had numbers. So this one's called Tundra. Um, this one's forty nine twelve. I'll find it in a second. Your the your tundra has orange and yellow and teal and blue Ooh, and it's brown so pretty. and it's variegated. Just, yeah. lovely goodness. Um, which that one is oh, oh, forty nine twelve. And this is another example of one I need to. We have we have um, knit up swatches with maybe not good quality because they come from the website. I need to retake pictures on. So I'll try that. Forty nine twelve is called Prairie. It's purples it's really and pretty. periwinkles and oranges and browns and creams, and it is just it's really really pretty. pretty. The one I'm wearing around my neck. So this 
Um, I want to say it's the slush hat. I will find it and put it online. Um, by the way, um, Cheryl caught that I did not put the name of your your zigzag zigzag scarf on yesterday's video. I will I will rectify that as soon as I can. Um, this is the um, I'm forgetting the name. I'll find it. It's like the comfort cozy something. It's one skein triangle again. It's it's knit as a flat rectangle and sewn together right here, nice and easy. It is this one has a name on it. I'll let you. This one's sure, and I will will say that some people have been like, I can't knit that for a guy because it has these little pinky spots. Little is hint of pink. It's Not more really. like a very light blush. I made a hat for my husband, and you can't even and he tell it. that there's <laughs> pink in there, like. So it's it's yeah. more like those little pebbles that you see on the beach have a little, you know, rose color to them or whatever. It's really cool. This one's called, these are all the old colors and we'll introduce the new colors in a second. This one's called Meadow. That's also very pretty. Pinks, hot pinks and greens and Lots yellows. Of shades of and greens. Yeah. Really, that one's called Meadow. Um, did we do this one? No. Nope. It says Pampas on it. So that one, I don't know what that's actually referring to. But that one's got more blue purples yeah, and greens. Yeah, and greens it's, and it's teals a, are in there too. They're mostly cooler greens than the one we just showed yeah. you. Um, it's almost thistle-esque. Forest. I love I love all these colors. It is very that's more, foresty. That's more muted, you know? It's, it's more damp colors like a bluey like grays and green mm -hmm. or oranges and browns and i don't think we've done this one yep. we may also not have every single color out here that we have on our shelves but we tried to pull some good ones this one says step s-t-e-p-p-e -P -P -E, like a step plane type thing you know it's teals and a salmony orange and blues and grays and, and brellos let's see, what's it's the color really we can't get in so this is the color we can't get in right now. We have some excellent options though that aren't this color. And I wanna say there's another one that's even more, um, we might not have out. No, I think we got them all. Okay, never mind. So the new ones that we haven't activated online yet. Um, ta -da! Which one do you want? Yeah, uh, I'll go with that pink. I'm not really a pink person, but I'll go with the pink. Okay. Um, I think that one's called patio. This one's patio because it goes around the pool. Because this is the pool. So, <laughs> so we were like, okay, we've got all these great colors. And the new colors, they had like four new colors. We only picked two of them. But this one has greens and blues, but it's very different than like, say, this one. See, it's more, it's more like dual tone greens and blues. It's different from this one. It's different than this one. You know, it's than all of them it's it's got more of a it's just, exciting yes it's a pool <laughs> party yay it's color number four nine two nine cool this is color number four nine three six and it's all pinks and pretty it's it's got so like a little bit of burgundy in there yeah it's cool but it's all like red pink families right yeah so this is all green blue families. That's all red pink families. We just thought that would be neat instead of the variegated lots of uh, colors. This has like a color family to it. Yeah. And you know, like almost the same color as the some of the the ready fuchsia e's in this, but it's just those. So if if you're like, there's too many colors, fewer colors, more fun goodness. Um, one skein, although I've had some people play yarn chicken or fail at yarn chicken, making a hat with one skein. It depends on how far down you want it to come and your gauge because everybody knits differently. So people can make the same hat with the same yarn and some people are successful and some people run out of yarn. One skein, I'll look up the name for this guy, but yet again, comfy, cozy, not too tight around the neck. Wonderful. Um, yay. Okay, so last thing before we go today, and we'll, we might have to wrap up in a few minutes just to get ready for the day. Um, the last thing we're gonna talk about is our new crochet hooks that came in. We ordered them like months ago. Months, months. Um, Likey, our favorite wooden products. Brittany is also wonderful. We have those in knitting needles. 
but in knitting needles, and, and we have chow goo in circular um, wooden needles, but our favorite wooden needles and wooden crochet hooks are likey. Um, they, they are advertised like our originals are called driftwood. We take them out. What I like about these, and you could speak to this too if you wanted to, Liz, but what I really like about these is um, they, a lot of people like wood because they feel warm in your hands instead of cold metal. But a lot of people like metal because, uh, because they're slippery or because you know things slide nicely on them. Sometimes people like wood for the stick. This is wood with a really nice varnish on it. So it, it has the warmth of wood and the slipperiness of metal. When, before I started knitting, mm -hmm. you had like e-crochet hooks at the shop. And I was like, I need a new crochet hook because, you know, left all mine at home. And I have the acrylic ones. I have metal ones. Mm -hmm. I have fancy, fancy wood ones that were hand turned on somebody's lathe. Well, let me tell you, likeies were life changing. There, I mean, because metal, you like the slipperiness of the metal, but metal with crochet hooks tend to have a really dull tip. Yeah. And so these have a nice sharp tip for punching through material where you need to push through because slip because the the metal ones could slide around a lot this has the precision of that um they don't have a thumb divot which when i first brought these in the driftwood the natural color i said oh my gosh what i need and I, I, went. Need, I need my, yes, I need my thumb divot. when i teach people to crochet i tell them where to put their thumb because there's the thumb divot and this one i was like that's weird and at first it was weird. And now it is like, it's my go-to. I wish all of my things didn't have a thumb divot because flexibility of use. Thumb divots are great when you're learning, mm -hmm. but I found with a lot of crocheters who've been crocheting for a while, once they discover they don't actually need one because a lot of us swivel our crochet hook More in, maneuverability. In, our, in our fingers and it's hard to do that or we like a deeper working space. Yeah. And some of the thumb divots make give you like such a short working space that it's hard to do you if you're doing here. popcorn or, you know, the puffs or whatever. Um, so, so, and I like the fact that they are completely straight all the way down. So if you stick them through your crochet, you can just pull it out instead of, you know, having to back out a hook, which is a pain. And in the knitting needles, my favorite interchangeable set. We can get these in fixed knitting needles. We have not done that yet because Likey has had some supply issues lately. We have tried to reorder things we're low of or out of and, and they're back ordered for forever. So like these were back ordered for forever. And when they came in, we go, yay! Because, okay, my favorite interchangeable set of Likey's is the Likey Indigo. That Driftwood is the original. Indigo is just their blue. I know that might look kind of greenish. It's the blue, but it's a blue varnish on them. And they're beautiful. And look, same size. These are both peas. The, the, the sizes are on the bottom. They also have your millimeter and what size knitting needle it would compare to. Yes. On the bottom. Which is which, right. which for people that do both, if you want a crocheted edging or you want something, you know, similar gauge, then you can find then the you right can hook. know exactly like when I knit some my my ranunculus or dead easy and I put a crocheted edge I found my crochet hook with the same size and guess what these are the same price you don't pay more for the fancy blue however the blue ones blue ones only will be on sale this week the the indigo I will be Oops. buying a seven Yes, we do have the mythological seven. Um, hooks tend to have letters on them, and the seven, they also have the number that corresponds to the knitting needle often. Uh, but the knitting needle that's a seven, it's a 4.5 millimeter. They had already named the alphabet stuff for everything. There's a G and there's an H, and the seven falls in between. So when people said, no, but we really need that size, we had a four millimeter and a five millimeter. So they just had to call it a seven. There's also a 17, which is really big. Yeah. Anyway, so um, yay for indigo. You know, if this, this is lighter, most of them, it's 
both of them have this tonal quality where the neat, the hook you get might be light or dark, depending on the varnish and the wood. It's mostly birch wood. They, really they nice, are, stable wood. They are all made of the finest birch wood in the park. There you go. So wonderful. Yep. So um, the, the driftwood on the whole is going to be lighter if you like that against your yarn. The, the blue is just pretty. It's just very pretty. So um, we have them in sizes. I think they start at a D. Yep. And they go up to um, P. A P or, and then the 17. I think the 17 is, no, maybe it's not bigger. Anyway, we'll take a look. Um, but we have a lot of sizes. We get them in um, three packs. So this variety pack we got all at once. We have three of each. First come, first serve. She's taking a seven. So um, get them while you can. We'll reorder them, but there's some driftwood colors we don't have in stock right now because we've tried and they're back ordered. But we'll keep putting in back orders so they'll all come in in a big flurry when production um, issues are resolved. Yeah, there's a weird thing going around the pandemic. And there's that pandemic know. thing and it actually affects what we can get in sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, that's it for the VSC today. Join us tomorrow for Dear Becky and Lizzie. I don't think we have anything at the moment. No, if you have a... a um, if you have an advice question. Yes, email me, Liz at sundragonartandfiber.com. Mm -hmm. And we can get it on the the show tomorrow. Yep. If not, we will find things to talk about. That's fine. So if you want to no, send I us, don't think we, no, we we'll have, just sit here and stare. We'll at just this. stare at the camera <laughs> for forty five minutes. I might knit something. Maybe we'll both knit for forty five minutes in <laughs> as much silence as we can do. Oh, that would be weird. Anyway, um, um, if you want to write us a letter, if you don't get an email out in time or don't use email and want to write us a letter, you can write us a letter at um, Dear Becky and Lizzie, Sun Dragon Art and Fiber, 35 South Broad Street, Brevard, North Carolina, 28712. And, or join us for Knit Night, that is Friday night from mm -hmm. 6 to 9 p.m. Last night we did, speaking of zip codes, we did get into a fun side conversation about zip codes. You know, we talk about random stuff. Um, but it's all happening virtually on Zoom for the evening knit nights on Tuesdays and Fridays. 6 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. You can get in with the shop phone number, which is 828-877-3550. And also join us on Saturday for Facebook Live and, and Zoom, Zoom Sit and Stitch. Dual platform Saturday afternoon Sit and Stitch happens once a month. We have fun. Um, if you are not a Zoomer, you can join us on Facebook. You'll see my lovely mug for, for four hours or whatever part of those four hours you want to join and you'll hear everybody on Zoom. Um, all you have to do is go to our um, go to our Facebook page to watch the live event. Or if you're already like you, you already like our Facebook page, it might alert you that we've gone live. Um, that's as far as my knowledge of Facebook live events goes, even though we've done a few now. I just I get it going on my phone and go, e <laughs> if we, if we ever get back to where we can hang out without masks for longer than you know this um we'll do facebook live together mm -hmm. but right now she's at her house and i'm at my house and i'm on if zoom you want to see her you go on zoom yeah. and see other people you can hear me on facebook yeah <laughs> but facebook works for people who don't ha have zoom or don't want to use zoom or don't have the internet capacity for yeah. the live streaming like with the upload and download of video and if all that makes no sense just do whatever you can yeah um but if you want to see other people and kind of hang out virtually with them, we really encourage you to join Zoom. That's fun. And so. as, as with all of our knit night, knit afternoons, come when you can, leave when you have to. There you go. Got the phrase down. I like it. Um, the magic portal will be open from 1 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, which is January 23rd, in case you're watching this some other time. But if you're watching this another month, you can join us one of those months. We tend to have it like the third weekend-ish or like the second to last weekend, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll publicize it. We'll let you know right here, you know. Yeah. And and yeah, I think that's it for right now. I think we're gonna we're gonna bid you adieu. And if you're if you're running behind, check out Instagram and Facebook for our yes. latest updates. Because um, I will also put things in our newsletter that goes out via email on Mondays. 
if you'd like to sign up for that, I think there's a way to sign up on Facebook or you can email me, Rebecca at sundragonartandfiber.com and I will add you, or you can sign yourself up at sundragonartandfiber.com. <laughs> it's so, so many options. options. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love y'all, we miss you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We have all, we keep, we keep threatening a sale if we get to 500 subscribers. We'll keep threatening that. In threatening. Threatening. Oh no, you can save money. That's so bad. Um, hit the bell for notifications. Share this with people who might get a kick out of it. At least give us a thumbs up if you liked it. You know, the, the, the typical YouTube stuff. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.